Okay, so the question is, why would I need hydrophobic versus hydrophilic or vice versa? Well, again, this really comes down to what your application is. If you're interested in something like anti-fog, then you're going to want something that is very hydrophilic, so that if water or mist or fog interacts with the substrate, that it forms a really nice clean sheet. If you were to take a hydrophobic material and apply it, the fog droplets are actually going to stick out a lot more severely because you're going to have lots of little tiny droplets all over the surface. Now in cases where easy clean or you want to resist soiling of a substrate, you would not want hydrophilic in most of those cases. There are a select few where actually certain hydrophilic groups can, can help with cleaning. But for the most part, you want something which repels materials, repels soils from sticking. And in that case, they tend to be aleophobic or hydrophobic based materials. So you really want to pick, do you want hydrophilic or aleophobic depending on whether or not you want to attract or repel fluids. And that's generally a good place to start.